Tokyo. I'm really happy to be here. And um, I want to say thank you, first of all. Uh, you've been very important to us and to the global spread of Camarilla, uh, as other Asian countries. But Japan has been um, our second country from 157 countries worldwide. So thank you for that. Um, my name is Constance. I'm the founder and CEO of Camarilla, the world's smallest social network. And I would like to bring you a little bit through the journey of friendship. Probably you recognize this, a moment spent with a dear friend, and you talk about life, or you are just in the moment. You don't have to do anything, because in friendship, nothing really matters, just being there for each other and resonating with each other about life. Friendship is something interesting. It makes you happy. Friends are the people who are your circle of trust. You build two things with them. You build quality time spent together, preferably one-on-one. -on -one. And to nurture your friendship, you need to keep seeing each other. So with this and our busy lives and every day, um, we are distracted by so many things, social media, news, fake news, uh, life, work, motherhood, whatever. I've started a movement for friendship because it's one of the most important things and it gives you value in life. And I'll bring you back to a journey when um, Two years ago, I became a mother of this beautiful son called Hector. And I thought my life was just moving so fast. Um, I was traveling the world as I was a commercial director of a company called Travelbird. And I spent my time a lot in hotels, as I do now. <laughs> but probably you recognize it when you are living a busy life like most of us. It reduces your time spent with real friends. You don't know where they are. Um, you have to text them or email them or call them. Um, but you can't see each other constantly because you are in a different time or place. Well, I thought this could be done better. Because in today's world, this is you, you can easily connect with strangers or with people who have the same interests as you. You reach out to them through Instagram or Twitter. Or you have your colleagues or friends to become or old friends on your uh, fast dial of Facebook or Snapchat. And so we can reach out easily to friends who we never met or who we are not really close with, but we share our lives, etc. Your business people, you text them, you email them, you use all kinds of line uh, with them, you use all kinds of messaging apps because you have more frequent contact. And you're pretty good friends, well, probably you'll app them all the time. But there's nothing there for your close friends, those friends who are most important to you and who you've gathered through life because you had a special connection with them because you spend this quality time with them and you really love seeing each other. We created an app called Camarilla. And it's the place to post your photos, videos, and where you can share your real life, like in real life. You don't need filters, etc. You just share your photos and only you know who is in your Camarilla. So you invite your mom, your brother, your handful of friends, no one knows but you. And when they respond to your photos, it's always one-on-one. -on -one. And that's the interesting part. Because when you share one-on-one, -on -one, you do respond differently. When everyone is reading along, you think, oh, I have to check out what I say. Or, But when it's private, you can just say whatever you want to say. And the way you it normally interact with your close friends. So we created this app and we launched it last September. Within six months from now, 
we have spread through over 157 countries, and um, Japan has been one of our most important countries. We see that people are loving this way of sharing. Some people really have to adjust or get used to that everything remains private. So we get a lot of reactions from, uh, from users uh, with requests or with um, uh, thank you notes or all kind of details. People from hospitals who are sharing their life, who really feel connected. And um, it gave us a lot of insight of what people really want at this time and day and age. Because we've been used to broadcasting or messages, but probably now it's time to bond again, to really connect. And this is what we see. It's about bonding instead of performing. It's not only for people like you and me, but also for companies. We need to have different ways of communication. The future is really resonating with each other instead of just sending and broadcasting your message. But share your interest. Talk deeply about stuff. This is a day's life of Camarilla. The green is where we are. Um, so it's a challenge to fill it up with Mongolia or Iceland or other countries. So maybe if you have friends there, feel free to, to get them on board. Um, we're not the only one who are seeing this shift, of course. So this is, uh, happened in 2015, where Mark Zuckerberg said, the big shift is sharing towards smaller groups and more privately, which is logic, because um, sometimes you just want to bond with different people. Um, in the past few years, I've been an entrepreneur over 10 years, and it's always uh, a challenge to go for something that you have in your mind that you have to create. And I just wanted to show you a little picture that really uh, gets you through everyday startup life. And al I also know that in Asia this is really important because we have the big companies and we have you and I who are changing the world on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes you don't know what you're doing it for, but if you have it in the long haul, you see that you can really make an impact. But what people don't see is what it takes to get there. And it's under the radar what is most important. And if you have this hassle every day, but you have your focus, you have your dedication, you have your hard work, you have your failures on a day-to-day -day basis, you sacrifice whatever you want to sacrifice to get there, you will definitely end up there. It is, has been happening to many of us. And I hope you also pursue this dream, what you have and that you want to achieve. And definitely with a close relation from your circle of trust that gets you self-trust, you can get anywhere you want. So thank you so much for your attention. And um, of course, feel free to download the app. It's a free app. Get your friends on board, your real friends, and communicate in a different way. I thank you very much, and um, I enjoyed my time here. If you have further questions or if you have things that you want to share, feel free to come and visit me, and we'll drink a cup of coffee. Thank you so much.